Edge Baston aren't afraid to get properly stuck in when it comes to sustainability. They've even built their very own allotment right here at the ground, where I've been joined by Director of Operations, Claire Daniel. Claire, this place is amazing. How did it come about? So our chef team are so passionate about food and produce and locally sourced. They really wanted to build an allotment, start growing their own veg and using it um, on our menus. Why did sustainability feel important? We have got a ability to have a really positive impact um, on climate change and we take it very seriously. So we are really focusing on um, plant forward, uh, more vegetarian and vegan options. We don't use any single use plastic at all across the stadium. We, all of our energy comes from renewable sources. Um, we recruit in the local area. And it's about having a really positive impact on the city. This couldn't possibly sustain all of the half a million visitors that you receive each year. So where else do you get your produce from? Now, that's the wish, ultimately, <laughs> is to have somewhere big enough. We don't get any produce from outside the UK. We um, home make 90% of the produce that we serve on all of our menus, which makes it a lot easier. Uh, and we use kind of locally sourced traders and vendors. We also work closely with Fordle Farm. They help us within our retail catering um, and they've been an excellent partner of ours. Ford Hall is um, one of the first organic farms in the country. Um, it's been um, organic for over 65 years. In 2006, it was sort of facing redevelopment and it was saved by a community scheme. So it was essentially bought by 8,000 shareholders. We came from sort of one catering unit uh, here at Edgebaston to running the whole concession contract here. And how do you strive for sustainability in the way that you farm? We rear all of the animals organically. So we are completely grass fed. We don't use any additional corn or anything like that. It is Soil Association uh, certified. Does that have an effect on the taste of the food? Do you say that the cricket fans are benefiting as well as the environment here? We definitely think that the meat tastes better. It's reared um, slowly for longer, which produces a better tasting product um, and hopefully something that people enjoy here. In a venue this size, wastage is always going to be an issue. Fortunately, Edge Baston have hit upon a brilliant solution. Local food redistribution charity, Let's Feed Brum. Let's Feed Brum started about seven, eight years ago, and we go out every single day of the week, including two breakfasts, to feed the homeless, really acting as befrienders who help to bridge the gap between people on the streets and the services. The food is a huge part of that. You know, that is absolutely our way to connect with people and provide exactly what they need whilst having those important conversations. Edge Baston have been absolutely incredible. They've really pioneered this community spirit. They always provide us with their surplus food because then we can go out that very night or that morning, hand that food out to people who need it most. You know, sometimes we might see 80 to 100 people in one one session just being able to use their what otherwise would be food waste but actually putting that to a great home is incredible. Do you think that other venues should be taking note? 100% of the venues should get on board. We've spent a really long time working with environmental health, working with experts, anything we need to do to make sure that food is not being thrown away unnecessarily and actually is being literally put in the hands of people who need it most. So I would encourage any venue to reach out to a charity like Let's Feed Brum to understand actually how can they work together to help the community. Locally sourced organic produce arrives, fans enjoy delicious eats while they're at the cricket and anything sold goes to those who need it the very most. When it comes to food and sustainability, Edge Baston, it seems, has got it sussed.